sometimes it's good to plan a drawing. So I'm going to draw a line like that at this angle and then kind of 90 degrees to it. I'm going to draw these two other lines going parallel. Well, pretty well parallel there and come down. Well, so that's kind of if you swing that around, that's kind of one length and a, a half or something like that. And we want a line coming out there and this will then sweep round as well. So that will become the body with a little circle at the end. Here we want to draw a line across there. So this is going to be the head. <coughs> and we're going to start pretty much on that kind of intersection there and draw an ear. So it's up and around and a flick up the middle. And then this is going to be the bud of the antler. <coughs> and we can draw. This is going to be the nose. Coming down like that. And then we want a, a kind of a chin like that. And then it's going to come. If you do the, they're almost an S shapes, aren't they? And if you can flick the last bit, then you get a nice kind of fur shape to it. And we can put an eyeball in there now. And the eye pupil is like, a, it's like a Pac-Man or a letter C, which is a tiny little cup taken out. And that's the shininess in the nose, just makes it look a bit shiny. And here we can then draw an antler coming out like that. And we'll follow it around behind the ear into a nice curve and then a flick around the top there. And then we can come back like that. And then another one is going to be coming out kind of like that. And they're all kind of different shapes, really. And I'm making this really simple because this is raw stuff real easy. This is a really difficult drawing. Trying to make it a bit easier for you. And we're going to see a little bit of the one on the other side. And we'll maybe see a bit of the other one doing something sort of similar. And you can kind of do that just to kind of make it look like there's, there are two sides to the antlers. Now here we want to kind of draw out in a curve. And that can come down there because it is this kind of shaggy mane that the red hair, red deer have. And I'm going to, that's a bit low now, I think. So I'm going to start up about there, straight across and round. <coughs> now... Four-legged animals have really weird back legs, so we want to come around the little hook like that and then straight down. And then we want the thigh coming down to meet it. And when you get to here, this is going to come forwards into the hooves like that. And this is almost like some ladies' high-heeled shoes happening here. And then here we want this to come to slightly forward down to the same level, up a little bit. And then like that. And then we can take that up to there. And we can now finish off the tummy there. And we can have a little tail. And another foot there with these cloven hooves that's going to come up to about there and then up and you're going to want another one kind of down about there and then we can do some little bits of grass for it to be standing on something because otherwise it looks like it's a little bit kind of left hanging in the air <clears throat> 
when you are sure the ink is dry, then erase those pencil lines. And that is how you draw. And that is how you draw a red deer. Thanks for watching. And that's how you draw a red deer. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for watching and subscribing to draw stuff real easy. Bye.